for me, for phase two of Lever, it would really be about expanding the technologies that we use and the ways in which we distribute this knowledge. And so, for example, it's interesting how everything that's old is new. And one of the things that Nathan's generation has really jumped on, which started with my generation as young adults, is podcasting. And so to me, the ability to be able to incorporate some form of that as part promotion, but part education with Lever, I really feel like that makes the book dynamic. I have a staff member here that often talks about from papyrus to pixels and everything in between. And so for me, in the context of the libraries and where I see the vision or a potential future vision for Lever, it would be breaking down the book into small digestible bites through which it can be delivered through multiple platforms. Podcasting, Twitter, you know, and then whatever other type of social engagement technology may be coming on the horizon. And I think what I would add to that that I think is really exciting as a student is to have all these different platforms and mediums that are growing through which information is being accessed and shared and disseminated and to have libraries be at the core of that work is really exciting for me. Uh, we were talking about the research that I've done as a student at Oberlin, an oral history project, and the libraries have been core in that in terms of providing resources and building platforms and teaching us how to engage uh, with them and how to kind of build an effective digital humanities project uh, with, with the tools that are available to us through uh, through having such a such a kind of a powerful campus library um, and so that's a not directly connected to lever but I see it in kind of the same way in terms of how libraries can be really innovative and really at the center of a lot of the growth that's going to happen with the student experience both academically and experientially uh, at schools like Oberlin moving forward.